Impressionism 1. Impressionist painters broke new ground by forsaking realist traditions. Rather than attempting to capture an accurate representation of a scene, French artists Claude Monet and Auguste Renoir painted impressionistic visions of outdoor life that caught the luminous effect of sunlight on objects. Here we have Water Lily Pond, Harmony in Pink by Claude Monet. Oil on Canvas, 1900. Water Lily Pond, Harmony in Green, Claude Monet, Oil on Canvas, 1899. La Moulin de la Jalette, Pierre-Auguste Renoir, Oil on Canvas, 1876. Redefining the World of Art. The 1800s not only launched the Industrial Age, but also brought an end to many long-standing artistic customs. This century saw the invention of new media and the emergence of radically innovative techniques. In the more egalitarian societies of 19th century Europe, painters and sculptors found that they could no longer rely on the church or their aristocracy for patronage. In fact, the whole commission system, whereby an artist, in effect, had sold a piece before it was even begun, was no longer the rule. Private galleries and public museums developed into major patrons and purchasers of artworks. Meanwhile, as photographers began lugging their boxy cameras into the wild to record the natural world, painters were also freed from the confines of their studios by the development of oil paint in a portable tube. But some French artists did not aim for a photographic realism in their landscapes. Rather, they sought to record their impression of a scene. The art world had never seen anything like it. Until the advent of photography and painting in tubes, artists were confined to working indoors. The French Impressionists. A group of young artists in France developed a style that would change the course of art. They organized their first group exhibition in 1874 after many of them had their work turned down by the jury that chose the work for display in the annual Salon, organized by the French Academy of Art. In the artist's private exhibition, Claude Monet displayed a painting of the morning sun rising over a harbor called Impression, Sunrise. A critic at the show complained that Monet's paintings looked messy and unfinished, and used the term Impressionism to describe their sketch-like appearance. What the critic meant as a criticism instead became the group's name, the Impressionists. The term reflected the group's attempts to capture a fleeting moment in time while painting outside and directly from nature. Early criticism of Impressionist paintings such as Houses of Parliament, London, by Claude Monet, was that the paintings looked unfinished and sketch-like. Technology's influence on art. The 19th century witnessed two inventions, paint in tubes and photography, that influenced the Impressionist. Whereas some artists used photographs as an aid to make realistic paintings, the Impressionists abandoned such naturalist representation. Like the camera, which is immediately able to record the exact likeness of a scene, Impressionists wanted to be able to capture their perception of a specific moment and scene. They quickly worked to record their impressions before the lighting or weather changed, thus changing the colors of a scene. Even Renaissance artist Leonardo da Vinci noted that a person walking through a field on a sunny day takes on a slight green cast from light reflecting off the vegetation. Explore changing light and weather activity on the next screen to view this concept. The invention of oil paint and tubes enabled the Impressionists to leave their studios and begin to paint outdoors. Before, artists had grounded their own mineral pigments and mixed them with oil. Now artists could take their tubes of paint anywhere and work directly from life. These new synthetic paints also came in vivid blues, greens, and yellows, hues that some artists were unable to create in their studios and had never used before. And here are some pictures. Synthetic paint and tubes and photographic techniques allowed artists to travel and create paintings under natural light. The Art of the Impressionists Changing Light and Weather Monet explored the way that light and weather changed the perception of an object's color. He painted these haystacks during different times of the day and during different weather conditions, described the light and weather in which each painting how they look and change color. Green stack at sunset, 1891. Haystacks, effect of snow and sun, 1891. Claude Monet was a pioneer in the development of the Impressionist style. Born in Paris in 1840, he and his family soon moved to the seaport town of Le Havre. As an apprentice under the tutelage of the painter Eugène Boudin, 
or Bodine, Monet learned about a fresh new approach to outdoor painting called plein air. At the age of 22, Monet moved to Paris where he lived for several years. He continued his artistic studies and developed a broad circle of artist friends, including Edward Monet and Pierre-Auguste Renoir. Later in life, Monet moved to the small French village of Givernay, where he produced some of the most magnificent paintings of his career. Claude Monet stands on a Japanese-style footbridge covered with wisteria and spanning a pond on the grounds of his home in Givernay. At his home in Givernay, Monet planted gardens that became a constant source of inspiration for his paintings. Monet's Water Lily Series Monet lived in Givernay for the final 20 years of his life. He tended to the lush grounds near his cottage and made many paintings of the rich scenery. He enhanced the property by creating a spectacular water garden, complete with a Japanese-style arched bridge seen in this painting. Each day, Monet set up his canvas in the garden and painted what he saw. Over time, he noticed that the light and shadows changed after only an hour. So he decided to work on one painting at the same time each day for only one hour. When the time was up, he worked on a different painting. While the bridge, the pond, and the flowers appeared in several of his works, each painting is unique because the light and colors are different in every one. This is Water Lily Pond, Harmony in Green. Impressionist Conventions Monet broke from established realistic practices. He did not sketch his compositions in advance. Rather, he worked quickly and spontaneously, filling each canvas with short, lively brushstrokes. He used dabs of vibrant color to capture sunlight dancing across objects. Monet did not mix his paints on a palette. Instead, he applied pure pigment directly to the canvas. Instead of using white and black to depict shadows and highlights, he used vivid color. In a further break from tradition, Monet did not use outlines, Renaissance chiaroscuro, or smooth tonal values to render forms. Instead, the brush strokes and bold colors work together to convey images. Do you remember what chiaroscuro is? The use of light and dark to show highlights and shadows on objects. This technique makes painted objects look solid. Many critics did not warm to Monet's approach. They believed that his paintings lacked clarity and that the colors were garish and bright. What do you think? Explore brushwork of Monet activity on the next screen to view his painting more closely. Monet used short brush strokes and brilliant colors to render forms. As Monet aged, his vision worsened as he developed cataracts in both eyes. Monet began using darker and more intense color and more frenzied brush strokes as seen in detail of the Japanese bridge on the front of this card, creating abstract works with subjects that are difficult to identify. If you didn't know that the painting depicts the footbridge at Monet's home in Gimernay, would you be able to identify it? The brushwork of Monet. If you were to stand close to this painting, it might be difficult to tell what you were looking at. You would see the short brush strokes and flecks of brilliant color, but as you step back, they blur together and you see the water lilies, the water and the bridge. Water Lily Pond, Harmony in Pink. The staccato brushwork may suggest a haphazard approach to painting, but Monet created a strong, disciplined composition in Water Lily Pond, Harmony in Pink. He invites the viewer into the scene, presenting a close-up of the arched bridge. The dense foliage masks the sky, framing the bridge and water lilies below. Monet's lively technique provides unity to the arrangement. Unity is the feeling of oneness or wholeness in an artwork that occurs when all parts of a design fit together well. Monet created his work in series. A series is a group of artworks that have something in common. That is, he painted the same subject several times under different lighting conditions. Water Lily Pond, Harmony and Peak is from a sequence of paintings that Monet completed at Givernay. Explore Water Lily series by Monet on the next screen. Monet's Water Lily series Monet depicted the same subject matter in both paintings using similar compositions. Think how the colors reveal different lighting and weather conditions. In Harmony and Pink, Monet used more saturated hues of red, violet, green, and ochre to capture the sunlight dancing across the water. The light is intense, 
perhaps that of a clear day at late afternoon. In Harmony and Green, Monet depicted the foliage on the left in deep shadow using cool silvery tones of green and blue, perhaps he painted in the mist of the early morning. Pierre-Auguste Renoir A contemporary of Claude Monet, Pierre-Auguste Renoir was also a visionary in the development of the Impressionist style. Born in 1841 in Limoges, France, Renoir began his artistic career as a decorative painter of fine porcelain. At the age of 21, he moved to Paris to study art at the École des Beaux-Arts, where he befriended the young Monet. Both artists embraced the plein air style and studied the glistening effects of natural light on objects and figures. Renoir mainly focused on painting vignettes of carefree Parisians and go enjoying leisurely activities. I think I forgot to tell you that plein air painting is an approach to painting favored by the Impressionists in which they worked outdoors in plein air rather than in a studio in order to capture natural light. Renoir visited Italy in 1881 where he was inspired by the Renaissance conventions of Raphael and other Italian masters. For a brief period he painted in a more controlled classical manner, yet eventually he returned to his signature style of free brushstrokes saturated color, and vibrant lighting. His portrait of actress Jeanne Samaré displays Renoir's use of saturated color and free brushstrokes. La Moulin de la Jalette. Renoir and his fellow Impressionists abandoned traditional subject matter. Rather, they depicted scenes of modern life in a newly industrialized society, dance halls, cafe life, and other leisure activities. Their paintings were not mired in religious meaning, symbolism, or historical narratives. In La Moulin de la Jalette, Renoir presents a lively dance hall, the Pancake Mill, where Parisians gathered on weekends. He included several of his friends and models among the crowd and placed them in casual, carefree poses. Some are dancing, while others eat, play, and socialize. Explore La Moulin de la Jalette activity on the next screen. La Moulin de la Jalette by Pierre-Auguste Renoir To young children laugh and play games highlighting the innocence and the carefree nature of the scene. Renoir posed one of his regular models, Margot, with the Cuban painter Cardenera to create the image of a dancing couple. Historians believe that Renoir asked the sister of one of his models to pose as a central character in the painting. Some of Renoir's friends posed for the table scene, leisurely taking in the day's events. Color, Light, and Shadow Renoir's lively brushstroke work gives his painting a cheerful mood. He wove in flecks of pure blue, green, yellow, red, and white throughout the canvas to create unity. At a distance, your eye blends the soft strokes of color into clothing, flowers, and skin tones. Renoir believed that using unblended color created more vibrancy than did mixing colors together on a palette. By using small brush strokes instead of blending the paint on the canvas, Renoir depicted sunlight and shadow dancing across the figures and captured a brief moment in time, his impression of the scene. Renoir and Monet embraced the plein air painting style. They also discovered that shadows are made up of the colors of the objects that surround them. Rather than being neutral browns and blacks, what colors did Renoir use for these shadows? Renoir used light touches and soft brush strokes, which softly blur the figures. Quiz time. What Impressionist techniques did Monet use in Water Lily Pond, Harmony and Pink? Lively brush strokes and dabs of pure color. What Impressionist convention did Renoir use in Le Moulin de la Jalette? Renoir depicted a dance hall, a modern day leisure activity. How did new technology and materials influence Impressionist artists? Oil paint and tubes allowed artists to work outdoors in natural light. 